Hello everyone, my name is Pixel, and today we have another wonderful indie horror game for you. Today we have a game called There is a Man in the Attic. Game just opened up straight to here. Got no title screen whatsoever. Let's see, we put it on Ultra. That's it, we just put all our settings on the highs because we have those blazing speeds. And I think we crashed our game. <laughs> it was just too much to handle. Okay, let's let's try that again. Okay, now for real. Let's start. Uh, there is a man in my attic. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple times. I am an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Well, something tells me that old memories are uh, about to come back and haunt you. Fine phone. I am a very slow walker. <laughs> there, th this is as fast as I can walk. That must be the attic. I don't need to use the bathroom now. Is it downstairs? There's my phone. Got a nice little place. Check phone. Hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time. It was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior. But you know how kids are in their imagination. She's probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. The dude said three different, like, goodbye statements all at once. Boiler room, I don't need to go there. Clean up the dining table. I mean, it kind of just looks good as it is. Today my brother came to visit and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she's my niece. It's been a while since I had last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her, after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels, let her there go there to watch some TV away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Alright, let's put these dishes away. Two dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us, and that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak, but she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after they left for the night. I'm once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Yes, yeah, almost sounds like that nightmare. Is it raining? I'm guessing that it's raining. Do I have a flashlight? <laughs> Found my phone, did the dishes. Time to, time to hit the hay. Hit the hay... As I, you know what, maybe, maybe that's why I'm walking so slow. I'm just tired as all hell. Do I need to go to the bathroom? I don't need to use the bathroom now. Do I need to water my stick? <laughs> it's a nice little color painting you got there. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway, before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Is he gonna be there again? What the fuck is that? 
These noises, they're coming from the attic. Thank you for answering my question, unnamed protagonist. Why is the attic door open? I don't remember leaving this door open. Is there a man in my attic? Is there a man here? Are you in the closet? Oh, that's a... That's a right nice paint. I should put that painting downstairs. It'll liven up the mood a little bit. Okay. I don't see nothing. You know, there's there's nothing here, you know. Might as well just go on back to bed. That would be the right thing to do. So let me just slowly and calmly walk away. We're just going to ignore those. We're very, very tired, you know. All we want to do is sleep. Sometimes strange noises at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything, and you question it once more. Yep, we hear strange things, and then that's it. Man, how long? Can I walk a little bit faster, please? Is the man in the attic real? Are any of us real? Oh, I can't do anything. It's like a little cutscene now. I'm slowly peering through the doorway. Hey, the light's off up there now. Is the man in the attic real? You know what? He might be. Or he might just be in our dreams. Oh, hi. That looks more like a dog. <laughs> this, this game should be called the dog in the attic. Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic. Or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Or perhaps the man right behind you. Don't turn around. He doesn't like being looked at. Just be still. Thank you for playing my specific fear of the man in the attic. Wait, that's it? That's it? There was there was no scares. There, there was just noises and just uneasy feelings. What the heck is that? I mean, sure, like... I mean, sure, you told a little bit of a story. And then we heard some noises in the attic. And then saw just two glowing eyes. But that was it. That was it. Where was the scares? I don't know. But, I mean, it, it kind of seemed like that was probably the developer's like, first game or something. The, the controls were kind of off. Every time I had to click a text box, I had to click again to get back into the game. Uh, definitely could have used a run button. But I feel like... Maybe they left that out on purpose because if there was a run button, then that game would have been half as long as it actually was. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it. If you want to see more videos and also a bunch of the other games that I've played in the past, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified of whenever things pop up. If you want to play this game for yourself, I will have a link down in the description below. And thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.